Hey, hey, Scrapper Names fans, how are we all? Welcome back to another Challenge Tuesday video. Uh, and this one is for a Kidaholic Kit Cyber Crop that we had just recently over this long weekend. And who doesn't love a long weekend? Uh, and some of the lovely design team members really got in and got some uh, scrapping done. Some of us, unfortunately, like myself, didn't quite get as much as planned done. But anyway, so we had a cyber crop and there was about nine challenges. And this was my, my go at one of them, which was a bingo challenge. And I chose to do, hmm, what was my bingo? Tags, flowers, circle. Oh, what was the other? <laughs> It'll come to me. Flowers, tag, circle, and something else. Twine. That was it. Um, so, yes. So, and I'm using my September kit for it uh, because I'm trying to kill my kit, but I've gracefully bowed out of that challenge now because it's pretty much over and done with. And our lovely other design team member, Lauren, you would know her as probably scrappy, cheeky Lauren, she well and truly killed her kit. So, I'm sure she'll have a video up for you. And probably has some photos up uh, over on the Kidaholic page with what is left. And she has destroyed it, utterly killed it. Anyway, so got a lovely photo here of my aunt with um, my niece. So her great niece, going back about 12 or so months ago. Um, and they're having like, some lovely snuggles. Uh, so, yeah, I am scrapping this photo to try and get finished off my niece's album or albums because this is actually part two of her album of her album she's two of them uh, so I've just grabbed some strips so I thought I'd do something a bit different as opposed to just one block layer photo mat and then layering behind my photo because I so get sick of doing it Oops, sorry my phone's on loud um I don't know, I just get sick of photo of matting it so yeah so I did some three strips down the side of different colours papers um, that also went in with the floral background paper. This is actually, I think, the last piece of whole by 12 I have of um, pattern paper from this kit, I must say. And then there was some gold foil vellum, vellum in the kit and I have some scraps left of that, so I'm just using that here. I wasn't sure whether or not I was going to add some more strips to the side and I toyed with that idea for a little bit and then I went with nuts. I'm going to go and use this block sort of square to kind of give an uneven edge as well but make it to the opposite edge of to the top left. Hang on. So the top left has those strips of paper poking out the top. So the vellum I wanted to poke out the bottom right, if that makes sense. It does visually. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> So to get those strips of paper to stay in place, I just stapled them, which I don't know if that was there a minute ago uh, or I edited it out. Um, yes, the only issue I had here was the staples actually made the plays sort of um, pop up a little bit. So it wasn't an even, look, it didn't flatten out and I couldn't add um foam tape because then it would be too high on the other on the right hand side so yeah you know whatever first world scrappy problems i know but anyway you can't really sell from here but i could tell it was annoying me for a bit and then i had to just get over it um and it didn't matter what i did i was going to pop stickers under it and then you know try and layer it up a little bit in the corner and then it just looked odd and yeah i just had to take a breath and leave it alone anyway so there we go. There's my, my photo is stuck down, my strips and sort of my layers as such are there. Now I'm going to play with my design and the bingo challenge itself. So here, what you can sort of see me doing, which I realised you couldn't actually see me doing, is I'm making some my own tags out of pattern paper from the kit that I have here. Um, and by no means is this affiliated as my design team for Kidaholic Kits. This is my Challenge Tuesday bid, just to, to clarify. Um, I'm just using up my design team kit because I'm trying to kill it. And, yeah, and I already pay for the main kit anyway, so as a subscriber. So, yeah, 
Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm making a tag here out of one side and then I realized I really liked the other side of this tag, but I kind of liked both. I needed a journaling, I wanted something to journal on, um, which this like greeny side worked really well because it was plain. And then I was like, but I really liked the other side, which has like these really bright, like, nice, colorful sort of butterflies. So what you'll see me do in a minute is make another one. See, there's the butterflies there. You can see it, it looks really pretty. It goes really well with the flowers without clashing because originally I thought that butterflies would clash with the flowers, but they don't. So, yeah, here's my twine. I know I used two pieces of those. I was going to use them like you would thread and, you know, twist it all up and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Mm, but I changed my mind because it just wouldn't have looked – it would have just looked a mess. So that ba background pattern paper with all the florals on it – it's quite busy, you would say, and so you can't add, I don't feel I could have added too much. It would have taken away from the photo. It would have just been like visually helter-skelter. So you just have to not, you just have to roll with it. I had to sort of be very careful, I thought, with what elements to the page, hence why these tags, I was conscious of the, what I used to make my tags. I knew I wasn't going to add just a random tag. I wanted to make my own. Um, I didn't like the tags I actually had in my stash. Like I have that white one, but white was just, it was too stark white. And the brown I have is that craft, brown craft tag kind of thing. And I didn't like that either. Not for this paper back, not for this pattern paper. It's too sort of pinky, elegant -y kind of look. Really? And I do choose two different colours twine I go for a sort of turquoise aquary blue and then a pink which is a very different pink it's in the flower it's quite a um a dark kind of pink but I actually think that offsets quite well against the pink that's in the background to be honest And then I fuss around with, uh, you know, exactly where these tags were going to go because, you know, I couldn't decide. I didn't want to cover up the but I'm a bit, of, bit funny. I, if I pick something that's really pretty, I don't like covering it up. So that the, but, but, the butterflies here, I didn't want to cover it up. It was too pretty. <laughs> so I couldn't decide on where it was going because I just, yeah, if I put it there, it looked it was covered. The butterfly was covered and then you couldn't see the point of the butterflies. And so then it just looked like the floral pattern paper. So it was just, it was really, oh, I hadn't stuck my pictures down. I didn't realize I hadn't stuck the photo down. I must've just been sticking down the layering. I only did this, this layout last night. So yay for me. Now I'm sticking my photo down. There we go. So if any of my lovely subscribers, subscribers, which I know some of them have, uh, if you've had a go at the Ketaholic Kits cyber crop over this long weekend, let me know in the comments below how you did. Did you get all nine of the layouts done? Or, um, sorry, of the challenges done? Or did you get a few done? How did you go? Let me know. What have we got here? Oh, I added some foam tape, that's right, to the first, ah, uh, the butterfly. Yes, I here and I actually think this looks really good and I popped it up on foam tape so it stands up off the background a bit more um, just so visually it's not clashing it doesn't clash but so it doesn't clash I guess visually when you look straight at it to me <laughs> and I'm no expert uh, you know it doesn't sort of clash with the, the florals in any way 
All right, so just pulling out a Becky Higgins, I think, yes, roller date stamp. Um, and I decide, I think the phrase on that one I've turned it to is here and now. And I decide to stamp it up the side of the green tag. <clears throat> Two reasons. One, at first, didn't fit across. Um, so it looked really awkward. Um, I then... Um, I then, then had to obviously put it up the side, which then when I stamped it up the side, it kind of looks really cool. I don't know why. I just, it's different, I guess. Um, it's visually just different, I think, and that adds a different element to that side. Um, so yeah, I was like, cool, that, that works. I'll go with that. I don't have to cover that. It's not a big mistake. You know, because as you know, if you stuff it up, you can always put like a sticker or something over the top running up the side. Why not? And magically, I have journaled on my tag, stuck it down and added the title, which is Love You, which is some lovely gold um, gold foam thickers from the Willow Lane collection. Um, now I'm going through some more of that pattern paper. And again, that's all Willow Lane. That's where all of this has come from, um, from crepe paper, from Maggie Holmes. Uh, and I'm going to, to do my circle elements on this page to complete the bingo challenge. I'll add a heap of different circles and then I'd save you the hassle of watching me fuss around because I really didn't know how I was going to do them. Um, I actually, if you can look carefully, you sort of can't see them too clearly, but I've just scattered them throughout the little floral arrangements on the paper. Uh, and pop them up on some foam tape. I wanted to make sure they gave a bit of a 3D, a bit of dimension to the layout so it wasn't all sitting flat, being that for a change my photo isn't sitting up. Um, plus I didn't want them to be just an element mixed in with the flowers. I was really conscious, as you can tell, that this was not not going to be, um, the flowers weren't going to overrun the page so yeah some DIY shop gold stickers word stickers here just placing them around do try and still stick with the rule of three although at the of late I'm finding that a bit of a challenge with some of the um, embellishments I've been using they're either too big or they don't really look good in a, in a, in a rule of three for some reason, like these teacups, I couldn't, I haven't been able to use them and on a layout. Again, they're from the Willow Lane collection um, pack and I just, I can't, I can't bring myself to use three on a page at the moment. I just, I just can't. And yeah, so I popped one on here and I'm trying to use them up. But yes, I'll oh, see here, I see, I'm trying to pop a sticker in on <laughs> underneath the photo it doesn't do anything and I just, just skipped the whole idea anyway but I was trying to pop it under the top right of that corn um, photo because you know I was trying to make it stick up a little bit pull sticking in but yes so I've just popped some of those gold words around I'm just playing around with what else I want to add um, I've added some more that you are loved which is another one of those foam stickers embellishment things stickers Stickers, stickers, that doesn't sound right. Um, one of these Dear Lizzie, Dear Lizzie, Dear Lizzie gold foil hearts. These are really cute. I'm starting to get a bit of a fondness for these now. At first when I got them, I was like, meh, I don't know about these. They're a bit flat and a bit plain, but I'm kind of getting used to them. Um, I'm still using them as a base to an embellishment cluster I'm finding. Uh, you'll see as I, I try to leave it there and just go, no. Don't add anything to it, Amy. Leave it alone. You don't need to. I can't help it. I just can't. It's just too, they're too boring. <laughs> they're really sparkly. I know and I know and I get it. I do, but nah. See, I add a sticker over the top. <laughs> and if you go back and you look at some of my layouts, I do it all the time. But that is it. My layout is done. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you again hopefully Friday. All right, bye.